okay this is the second exercise what we are going to do in the cat yeah okay so when previously what we said before making the any exercise we should make a planning how to make this uh, a model and from where we had to step start and what are steps we have to do by okay right now for suppose this diagram from where we have to going to start means we are going to start this diagram from here to okay from here getting to so we are going to draw it to circles and make the constant after that from certain distance at a distance of uh 40 dist uh, 50 distance we are making drawing a one more circle and from there to from getting to down he here we have the 96 radius of circle dimensions from here we will start in a diagram okay so getting to down okay remove the first axis and seven axis one okay take out the part new file part design and exercise 2 e r c i s c exercise 2 and select the sketch plane and sketch and select the sketch plane where you are going to draw okay and so, so from where you are going to start from top you are going to start from here to we are drawing circle so here we have your two circles draw the two circles first circle on second circle and the two radius circle is one is 20 radius circle and another is a 20 diameter circle okay and making the constraint these two circles okay one is and in the visualization on the diagnostics okay double click on the dimensions and one one is one is dimension of 20 radius and another one is a 20 diameter means it's a diameter of 40 diameter okay so getting to down from the top to 120 distance here we have the one more circle at a diameter of 44 so coincident to the vertical axis we will draw a circle of coincident to the vertical axis okay and make the constraint the the circle as well as from the origin to the circle okay and it's a diameter of 1 it's a, the distance between the these two circles is a 140 once for its 120 and it's a, the circle diameter is 44 okay so it's a 44 diameter means we should give the parameter in the form of radius suppose if you want to give then choose the diameter parameter then you can give the value of 44 okay so this is the portion what we did and getting to down from there to here we have a circle here also what is the diameter of the circle the circle is 14 diameter and getting to down from the middle circle 70 distance 70 minus 22 then it is a parameter of 58 58 60 70 70 that is a parameter of 48 from the 48 distance we have the one more circle that is 14 radius circle so draw a one more circle which is vertical uh, which is coincident to the vertical axis and make the constraint the circle as well as the circle from the other circle okay the circle 
radius is 14 radius means diameter of 28 and the distance between the these two circles is 70 minus 22 70 minus 22 this is the parameter and from this circle another circle which is there from away from the 38 distance so draw a circle which is coincidence to the circle with the other circle and it's on the it's a diameter make the connection of the circle as well as from the circle to what is the distance from the other circle uh, so try to remove circle and draw the one more circle which is coincidence to the, the circle make the constraint circle and the distance between the these two circles right now it's not getting the constraint so to make the full constraint from the horizontal axis we should give the one more parameter okay the circle radius diameter is 28 and distance between the these two circles is 38 and from the top to the distance is uh, 120 70 120 plus 70 minus 20 the value can the dimension and the value is 120 plus 70 and minus 22 okay this is the making the construction of circle and getting it down on the top uh, getting to down here we have a line okay at the from the middle circle to down at the 30 to 70 distance here we have a line so draw a profile to and draw a line okay and the make it as a constraint the line the line what is the length of the line and from center of circle to one end of the and right click and it is in the form of horizontal so it is in a horizontal value as well as from this point end point to from center we require in right click and vertical the vertical distance is 70 and the horizontal distance is 38 and the length of the line is 96 ok this is the parameter and here we have an one more circle that is its radius of 38 so from the middle of the circle from the center of the middle circle we will draw a one more circle with a radius of 30 what is the radius of the circle that is radius of 38 and make the constraint the circle to 38 38 diameter we require the radius so choose the radius and it is a radius of 38 okay so we require that this is the portion only so that we can remove the portion so to remove the portion what we should do we should join a line from the here to and extend this line to up to the object and close it 
okay and from the top to here we have the one more circle here we have one more circle it's a diameter of 40 diameter and from the bottom to the distance of 144 so select the circle draw a circle make the constraint of the circle and make the constraint from this line vertically from the origin uh, make the constraint from the vertical axis horizontal dimension and from the horizontal it is a dimension of 50 from the vertical it is dimension of 144 On that circle, we have the one more dimension that is a 40 diameter circle, and the dimension of uh, what in the radius of the circle is 32. And in that circle, we have the one more circle, <coughs> which is the which has a radius of. 20 radius that is a 40 diameter okay and draw a profile uh, draw a line from touching here to extending to the object and make an affiliate between the these two circles at a radius of 40 make a fillet these two circles at a radius of 40 double click on the parameter so it's a 40 and getting to done here we have the one more line which is coincidences to these two lines this coincidence is to vertical axis okay so fill it between the circle and this axis is a 15 so make the fill it between the circle and the this line it's a radius of as well as the coincidence between the this circle and this line at a dimension of 15 double click on the dimension It's a dimension of 15. 1, 5. 1, 5. Okay. Okay. After that, we should remove the unwanted diag. Uh, sketch get into the quick trim remove the extra portions this is an extra portion ok and here we have the radius of 14 radius between the circle and the line radius of 14 radius fourteen radius okay and getting to down here he drawn a line from here to here which is tangency to this line 
tangent to circle and perpendicular to the line as well as take out uh, one more profile and do the same thing okay after that make it trim trim the circular part and the line part yes okay this is the exercise what we are going to do did here okay here we have 20 circle diameter and here 40 20 radius 20 diameter means that it's a diameter radius of 10 as well as an under circle is 10 dia 10 radius means it's 5 diameter One is the five radius. Sorry, one is the radius twenty. Twenty radius. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's an radius of ten radius. And another one is the radius of twenty radius. This is the problem what we did seeing in this diagram. Okay, this is the complete model of the diagram. This is the shape what we want to do, and we did it. Okay, Lyson, you should make the pl best plan preserve, and we can make the complete an exercise. So, thank you.